Hello, I'm Michael Nagler, president of the Meta Center for Nonviolence, which is where we are at the moment. And this is your daily Meta for January 2nd, 2016. I started last time by talking about the foreword that I wrote for the book, The Search for a Nonviolent Future. I'd actually like to read you a few lines from that foreword and comment on it. I say that uh, Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris, those are the two very unfortunate young men who carried out that Columbine High School massacre. I uh, left, went off to perpetrate the massacre in, and they left a video. In that video, they told of their dream to hijack a commercial plane and plow it into New York, quote, killing as many people as we can. And my comment is that, you know, what the terrorists did on 9-11 was atrocious. It was uh, n not something to be condoned, but you cannot say that it was unthinkable because the fact is in our culture, we think about, non -vi about violence all the time. On those rare occasions when I fly in an airplane, I glance up at the screen every now and then showing the videos. It just looks like one explosion after another, one punch in the head after another. If we soak our minds with this imagery, this is the th things we're going to think of and eventually plan and eventually execute. So that's one of the most important sets of dots that I want to help us connect uh, in this book, The Search for a Nonviolent Future. How it is that what we put in our minds becomes our behavior, what we're putting in our minds right now, and what we could put in that would be very, very different and give us a very different life. So I would suggest this. It's impossible for us to avoid violent imagery. We should try. We should avoid it as much as possible. Uh, but we're going to be exposed to it anyway in one way or another. So watch carefully what happens in your mind when you see that imagery. Yes, there might be a sense of excitement. Um, but look a little closer. What's isn't underneath that excitement? Don't you feel insecure? Don't you feel a little bit of anxiety. This is what we're going to be talking about and trying to correct. That's our daily meta for today. And as Mahatma Gandhi once said, those who have an interest in nonviolence, I invite you to join the experiment.